Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Babes here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Man of War Assault Rifle. The Man of War is really one of the best weapons in the game, but what's keeping it from being the absolute best weapon, I think in my opinion, is that the recoil on this gun is extremely high. So we're trying to control for the recoil of this gun as best as we can, and we're going to get into how later in the video, but first let me explain to you guys like why this gun... Uh, really sucks at long range so I'm gonna do a really quick recall test I'm on this new DLC map here but regardless uh, I think the man of war is actually really good it has a very strong damage ratio uh, range and uh, it deals pretty much 40 bullet uh, 40 damage per bullet so that means that you're gonna get a three shot kill at basically any range across the map uh, especially if you put long barrel on the gun it's gonna be very, uh, very strong at long range as well but at long range we want a you know accurate weapon we don't want the man of war because the man of war does this as you can see the man of war is really really inaccurate this is even at medium range right we're at we're not even at long range right now we're at pretty close range at close range the accuracy of the gun doesn't really matter so much but at long range, you, you know, we're going to try to hit this window right here. At long range, it, it matters how many of these bullets are actually on target. Not many. And we see that basically, if we're trying to win a gunfight at long range, it's not going to happen. I also wanted to show you guys how this gun performs when we put a foregrip on it. It does perform better. Uh, trust me, you want to have a foregrip on this gun uh, whenever possible. If you're just running quick draw red dot stock... I would suggest taking off quick draw and putting on grip, but this is what the gun looks like with grip on it, and it's more controlled definitely, it's more centered, but it still kicks a lot. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it usable at long range because that's really what's making this gun or preventing this gun from being one of the better weapons in the game. But you can see with grip it definitely does help. But what we're going to do instead, and this is the tip. We're going to treat the Man of War not as a fully automatic assault rifle, okay? But we're going to treat it like a semi-automatic assault rifle. Because, the, like I said in the beginning of the video, the damage per bullet is extremely high. It's 40, so we're going to pretty much get a three-shot three, uh, three shot kill, basically, across uh, the map, really, in any gunfight you get into. It's going to be a three-bullet kill, right? But the main problem with the Man of War is that getting three of those bullets to actually hit, <laughs> it's going to be a hard thing to do because the recoil is just so high. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat it as like a semi-automatic weapon. And when we do that, it's insane. <laughs> just watch this. So here I'm just feathering my trigger. That is like tapping my trigger every time I want to fire a bullet. And as you can see here, the spread is a lot uh, less. It goes pretty much in the same little spot uh, every time I tap my trigger. And you can see there that this is going to help us win the gunfights because at long range, let's say there's a guy in this window right here and we want to kill him in three bullets and it will only take three bullets because the Man of War is that strong. We just have to do one, two, three and he's going to be dead. Um, but the thing is that if we hold down the, the fire button, this is what happens. You know, the, <laughs> the bullets pretty much go around the perimeter of that window, not in the center. But um, this is a foolproof method of how to win more gunfights at long range. It works. Trust me, this definitely works. I'm going to overlay some gameplay right now of me actually doing this in-game. I just consciously uh, did many gunfights like this just to illustrate how important it is to feather your trigger with the Man of War and how effective it is because it actually does work. But when you do this... Uh, method of firing your your man of war the um uh d time to kill goes way down and it melts this gun actually does melt people because you're controlling the recoil and the man of war has such high damage per bullet already that you don't need uh four or five or six shots to kill you only need three so our main goal is to just get three shots off and by and by doing that we're going to instantly kill the person and you can see in this gameplay like this actually does work this is across the map gunfight here this is you know very long range gunfight and we're dropping the people in seconds so I, that's really the tip it's just treat the man of war as a semi-automatic weapon feather your trigger um only hold down the trigger button every time you want to fire a bullet 
do not spam do not hold down the trigger button all the way down with this gun so that's pretty much the tip guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like on it subscribe for future content like this i'm gonna try to bring you guys some gameplay some guides some tip and trick videos and as well as i have a crypto key unboxing coming up i'm waiting for that 10th specialist to be dropped into the game um because i have close to 2,000 crypto keys right now and i'm gonna hopefully I'm, I'm saving them up until the 10th uh, specialist comes and I'm gonna hopefully try to get them so if you guys want to see that video do subscribe so you don't miss it in the future but that's all for this video I hope you learned something new I hope you do this trick in game because it's actually it actually does work and uh, I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching